Welcome, I am Laura the Camel Chica, and look who I have with me. I have Didi from Didi Bean, and then I have Delaine from Yoshea Lux, and we are here filming our next video series for the Tres Amigas, but guess what? It is actually National Hispanic Heritage Month, and because of that, we are, you can see that we are dressed in our um, nice little blouses and for in honor of um, National Hispanic Heritage Month, but I actually wanted to share with you a really fun drink, so this is gonna be a little bonus clip in between our regular Tres Amigas Table Talk Thursday segment. So if you happen to stop on by because of the title, welcome. We actually do um, videos like on luxury and fun topics, things that we love to collect, but this is actually a, just a fun video of a quick, quick recipe that I want Wanted to share with all of you guys if you happen to be a dutch brothers fanatic and you love to go and get your coffee or whatever drink um, from dutch brothers this is actually um, my version of their like a mangonada like lemonade type of a drink and because we are in the theme and in preparation for um, all souls day day of the dead because we are in the month of october i thought this would be a fun treat for my amigas and I to go ahead and drink while we are here at my home filming. So I'm gonna share with you the ingredients that we are going to use to make this really fun, easy, refreshing drink that you can drink in the summer, spring, or anytime your heart feels like it. So let me go ahead and show you the ingredients that we are going to be using today. We have these really cute, fun little glasses that Dee Dee picked up. These, actually she ordered them from HEB in case you are here in Texas, but they actually have online stuff, but, and just, Word of the wise, this is not an HUB sponsored video, but these <laughs> items were purchased there. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad, right? So we actually have some um, chamoy. So you have this tahin chamoy, which is very um, much used in our culture, um, especially like on like fruit or what have you, or just on, on drinks. A lot of times your drinks get rimmed in the chamoy. And then we actually have some tahin. So this, we like to use this to sprinkle it over, especially like fruits or also some drinks, which is what we're going to use. And then I actually have some mango nectar. And this is actually from the brand from HB, but you can use the Humix brand as long as you want it, um, as long as you can do a nectar type of a drink and it can be any fruit. So um, it just depends on what you want, whether you want guava, mango or pineapple or whatever you want to use, you can use that nectar for this. But this is the traditional um, version for the um, Dutch Brothers drink for their little mango nada lemonade. And then I just actually have some prepared um, fresh lemonade. So these are going to be the ingredients plus some nice fresh strawberries. Yeah. We went ahead and iced the little glasses that we have and you can use any size you want. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start by adding in our lemonade. Very fun and refreshing. And again, you can use whatever nectar that you want. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use, you can use like a little jigger measuring, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use a, this is actually a half cup measuring um, little spoon. So I'm going to um, add that into a couple of our drinks because Miss Deline is allergic to mango. We don't want any reactions today. So just I'm gonna go ahead, there. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> over there. And you can use this um, nectar for um, tea, like if you like want tea, or if you do um, like oh. lemonade, I always spike my my um, iced tea or my lemonade with this because I like that uh, mango nectar in there. It actually just tastes really, it really good. So yes. Good. And so then we're gonna do a little bit of just the chamoy. That's, that's some awesome stuff right there. Okay, what the heck? Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> Go. This is what happens when I don't use it. And you can have, you can do this however you want. When you want to do the chamoy, you can actually pour some in the glass and then just kind of like troll it around so it gets on the edge of it. You can rim your glass with a chamoy if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit in here, which I should have, I should have rimmed it. So I'm going to put a little bit there and then a little bit in this one. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our strawberries and just put them here on top for each one. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just nice and refreshing. And I loved it when they had this drink, but it's a really, it's a seasonal drink. And at least this way you are doing this and you're making it fresh because I think Dutch Brothers uses probably like a dehydrated type of like a strawberry, oh, yeah. oh. but at least this is, you know, fun. It's not frozen, it's fresh. And you can put as much, um, like especially the mango nectar, cause I think they use like a syrup, like the, the syrup pumps. 
and then just sprinkle some of the tahini over it, which is actually what the Dutch brothers would do. And you can put as much as you want, as little as you want. However, this one is yours because it didn't have any of the um, mango nectar. And can you yes. explain what the tahini's taste like? The tahini is actually like a seasoning of a little bit of, um, it's not super spicy, but it's a little bit of like a salty flavor. And then it's going to give you um, a little bit of like lime as well. Like this one actually mm -hmm. has lime in it. You can actually put the tahini like on fruit, like on vegetables, just different things that you want to go ahead and put it on. But it just gives it a nice like little saltiness type of a flavor. It's just a really, really good seasoning. Oh, should we oh let me see if it... Thank you for bringing them because Ooh, that's really good. I love it. So the tahini actually has a little bit of like chili pepper, some sea salt, um, and a little bit of lime. So it just gives you that nice like little saltiness. So it's just mm -hmm. a little bit and you can put as much as you want, as little as you want, but it's very, very traditional for us. Like when we go and we get fruit cups or when we're, you know, grilling, putting in our veggies and a lot of drinks, when you order drinks at restaurants, they'll put a little bit of like a tahini rim on your glass. And so it's really, really fun, especially if you would have rimmed the glass and then um, sprinkle the tahini over it, but it's just nice and refreshing. What do you think, Anitas? I love it. Mm -hmm. it's and I, I personally don't like that stuff like on my fruit and everything like that, but it tastes delicious in here. Because it's fresh because of the lemonade and then mm -hmm. the mango. And then, but even just yours, that's yeah. just straight up lemonade with a little yeah. bit of the strawberries. Yeah. And it just, just makes, yummy. it just yeah. adds to the flavor of my lemonade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That lime and I don't know, it's just so good. Yeah. It gives it just, just enough little, it's, it's not spicy, like pika spicy. It's right. just like, like some flavor. kind of flavor. Yes, yeah. just like a flavor. A little, a little bit more. This, yeah. Because this, I do like. <laughs> Which is that one? The, the chamoy. Um, the chamoy. You want to add a little bit more? Okay. Add a little bit oh, more. Oh, I guess so. And yeah. this stuff here is actually one of my favorites to go on watermelon. Yes. So it just gives it a, a kick. And yeah. And it is just so good. You dice up pineapple, you know, dice up pineapple, it's dice up watermelon, pineapple. mango, whatever type of fruit that you want. We cantaloupe. sprinkle fresh the cantaloupe. Uh, we, um, honeydew, yeah. the regular cantaloupe, and we squeeze fresh lime on it, and then we sprinkle some of this tahini over it. Sometimes we'll even put like the chamoy over it as well, mm -hmm. and it's just super, super good. Very, very um, traditional, especially for our culture, and just perfect for us having this little video segment during National Hispanic Heritage Month. So let us know how you try it. Hopefully you enjoy this Dutch Brothers um, take on these fresh ingredients. And so we'll see you next time, amigos. Enjoy. Salud. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs>